all right so we have some compounds here and we have to identify whether these are aromatic or anti-aromatic or non-aromatic now if we start with the first given molecule this is cyclopropene now i have to identify whether cyclopropene is aromatic or anti-aromatic or non-aromatic now our line of thinking will be the first the first thing that we, we would identify is whether the molecule is planar or not if it is planar then only it can be aromatic or anti-aromatic if it is not planar straight away that will be non-aromatic there will be no question of aromaticity or anti-aromaticity right so uh, the first thing will be planarity the first thing that you have to look into any molecule is whether it is planar or not and if at all it is planar then you have you'll have to look for the number of pi electrons in the molecule if it is 4n plus 2 then the molecule is planar if it is 4n then it is uh, if it is 4n plus 2 then the molecule is aromatic it is if it is 4n then that is anti-aromatic now um, we'll, we'll solve it and things will become more and more clear to you the first molecule is cyclopropene the first criteria is planarity we have to check whether cyclopropene is planar or not now for planarity you have to see whether all the atoms are sp2 hybridized or not if all the atoms are not sp2 hybridized the molecule cannot be planar because sp2 hybridization only offers us a planar geometry that is trigonal planar now if i if i see if I see the hybridization of all the atoms, then the atom, these two atoms, which are making pi bonds, these two atoms, these two atoms are surely sp2 hybridized because it is making three sigma bonds and one pi bond. The third sigma bond hasn't been shown, but we understand this because the bond of this, this carbon is only three as has been shown here, but carbon makes four bonds. So the fourth bond is with hydrogen. We all understand this. And the carbon is making, if carbon is making one pi bond, the hybridization state of this carbon is sp2 we already have seen all these things now these two atoms are sp2 hybridized but this atom this atom is not making any pi bond it is not having any plus charge it is not having any free radical two sigma bonds has been shown the two hasn't been shown but those two sigma bonds are with hydrogen we do understand that so that carbon is making four sigma bonds so the hybridization state will be sp3 so this carbon is sp3 hybridized so the problem is, since this carbon is sp3 hybridized, so if we see the orbital diagram of the cyclopropene, it will be like this. There are two p orbitals and with the sideways overlapping of these two p orbitals, we are ha having a pi bond and this carbon, this carbon, this carbon does not have any p orbital. It is having four sigma bond. So this carbon does not have a p orbital into which electrons can move in and come out so that it can have a cyclic uninterrupted complete delocalization. So because th this of this carbon, there's an interrupted delocalization. This carbon is causing interruption in delocalization. And because of this sp3 hybridized carbon, there is no uninterrupted cyclic delocalization. So the molecule is non-aromatic. So the first condition that was that is planarity is not fulfilled by this atom so this molecule is straight away non-aromatic if the molecule is not planar it cannot be aromatic or anti-aromatic straight away that will be non-aromatic if we talk about the next suppose we talk about the next intermediate if we talk about this intermediate then all we have to do is we have to see for the first criteria first the first criteria is planarity now this molecule is planar this molecule is planar because all the atoms are spt sp2 hybridized this this carbocation is sp2 hybridized because one of the orbital is empty that is that that is signified by this plus charge and these two atoms these two atoms are making pi bonds because they are making pi bonds they are sp2 hybridized since they are sp2 hybridized so all the three atoms in this molecule is sp2 hybridized now if we are not comfortable with finding this hybridization then you have to go back to the lecture pre the previous lecture in which we learned to find the hybridization of different molecules otherwise uh, uh, things may be things may be difficult for you here so uh, i'm assuming ki you already know how to find hybridization then only you can work this out now all the three atoms in this molecule is sp2 hybridized so the molecule is planar now, if the, when the condition of planarity is fulfilled, then you have to look for Huckel rule. 
then you have to look for Huckel rule and if you look for the Huckel rule the pi electron that is involved in resonance is 2 there are two electrons in this pi bond and the plus star does not, does not have any electron so it has two electrons and in the Huckel rule when you put n is equal to 0 4n plus 2 will become 2 so it satisfies Huckel rule as well so it is planar and it satisfies Huckel rule so this molecule is aromatic now to get the feel why this molecule is aromatic we can see at this is structure in this structure there has been shown there's a there's a pi bond by sideways overlapping between two orbitals and the third carbon is having plus charge and plus charge means empty orbital now there is a p orbital on all the three carbon atoms that means electrons can move from one atom to another and yet another and yet another and can move on and on and on in a cyclic loop there is no carbon atom which will stop this movement the cyclic movement of electron because all the carbon atom has a p orbital that offers the electron to come in and then move out so carbon can have cyclic uninterrupted complete delocalization like this so this atom is aromatic because it is also it, it is also fulfills it also satisfies Huckel rule because it is having two pi electrons and it satisfies his Huckel rule if we look on to the third molecule now if we talk about the third intermediate the third intermediate has a structure like this we have a we have a pi bond and the third carbon is having negative charge that means the third carbon is having a completely filled orbital which has been shown here so this is the situation now now since all the atoms has a p orbital electrons can jump from one orbital to another and can move in a cyclic loop but the problem here is there are four pi electrons two in the bond and two in this completely filled orbital and it does not satisfy the Huckel rule rather it has four n plus four n pi electron where n is equal to one and when you have four n pi electron the molecule is anti-aromatic so this the third intermediate is anti-aromatic because the first thing it is planar and how do we check planarity planarity is just checked by hybridization if all the atoms are sp3 hybridized then the molecule is planar and here if you see these two atoms the, the atoms have making pi bond these two atoms are definitely sp2 hybridized but the third atom this atom which is having negative charge prima facie seems to be sp3 hybridized because the rule that we have learned in the previous lecture is if negative charge is there on an atom that is counted for hybridization and uh, if you use that rule then that carbon will be sp3 hybridized and may we may be tempted to say that this molecule is non-planar and hence it is non-aromatic but the thing is uh, this negative charge has to go in resonance because resonance is the most important thing in organic chemistry and the orbital having extra negative charge will like to diffuse its negative charge into another orbital and in order to diffuse its negative charge into the adjacent orbital it has to be parallel to the adjacent orbital because for any kind of electronic transaction between two orbitals those two orbitals has to be parallel to each other so to bring about parallelity with the adjacent orbital that atom will exist in sp2 hybridization state so that it has trigonal planar geometry and the or p orbital in which that negative charge will be kept will become parallel to other orbitals as it has been shown here i have shown this structure i am keeping all the three p orbitals parallel but if this goes in a hybridization if you count this negative charge for hybridization then you will calculate the hybridization as sp3 hybridization the hybridization state of this carbon will be sp3 and in that sp3 this orbital will be tilted having tetrahedral geometry and if that is tilted it will not be parallel to other two these these other two orbitals so there will be no electronic transition and if there is no electronic transition then there will be instability in the molecule to bring about electronic diffusion from one orbital to another all the orbitals must be parallel and for that reason the atom has to be in sp2 hybridization state so that its orbital is parallel to other orbitals for that reason the negative charge is not counted for hybridization if that negative charge 
is involved in resonance so here this this is a very important statement and conceptually this is very important to understand that if 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 negative charge or lone pair is involved in resonance then it is not considered for it is not considered for hybridization now uh, and i hope you all understood why it is not considered for hybridization because if we consider it for hybridization unnecessarily will have sp3 hybridization and in that sp3 hybridization this p orbital will become will will not be parallel to rest of the p orbitals and uh, the diffusion of electron will not be effective and all we need in molecule is dispersion of charge the electronic density has to be less and stability will be more and that's why resonance and every effect occurs so the basic thing is we want dispersion of charge so electrons must be available to move it, it must be allowed to move from one orbital to another and for that reason orbital must be parallel and for parallelity will be there if, if, if it is sp2 hybridized and the theory that we have we will get sp2 hybridization if we don't count negative charge alone pair for hybridization for the simple thing is if negative charge is going in resonance or a lone pair is going in resonance you will not count that negative charge or lone pair for hybridization 